Our most advanced class at Kimball University is what we call ETL architecture in depth. ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load, but it's the commonly understood uh, abbreviation for the backroom technical activities required to actually build the foundation and the infrastructure for these systems. So the students who come to our ETL architecture class are a little more experienced. They've often been to one of our other classes. They understand our vocabulary, and now they want to get down to the to the real details of how do you structure these systems and how do you put them together with, with the real kinds of computer resources that they have available. So it's intended for the people who have been assigned the ETL development task and implementers and their managers. So in some cases we get people who are beginners in this class but mostly it's, it's more advanced people. This class is vendor neutral but we have an unusual number of very specific vendor references to the kinds of special tools that can be used to, that surround this whole process. And there are actually more than a dozen different kinds of tools that are, that are needed in the final analysis to, to build your back room. So although we don't favor a particular vendor, we have lots of screenshots and lots of comments, and we elicit a lot of experience from much more than the other classes. We elicit experience from the, many of the people in the class who are fairly experienced and have interesting opinions about things. I always learn something from this class for sure. It's based on a comprehensive case study that, it, that actually takes us four days to do. It's a, it's a kind of sample of a large organization with many different applications and many different facets of the data that they use. And we push the data forward from the raw extract through the data cleansing, through the cleaning and conforming and the integration. And then we push that data further through to building fact tables and dimension tables. And then we say we're ready to deploy that data to the business intelligence platform. And we do stop at that point. In the ETL class, we say there's an ideal client who is ready to use our data. But, but because of the depth of the class, we, we stop the, the design of the ETL at that point and leave it for, for, the, for the BI practitioners to use our data. We actually divide and this is a contribution that, we, that Kimball Group has made, we divide this ETL task, which really sounds like three phases, we divide it into subgroups within the E and the T and the L. There are 34 of them. And we actually give those names, many of them are fairly familiar names, but we apply a kind of organization and a coherence to this overall task that people find quite useful because then they can say they can focus on one particular part of this and they can talk in detail about something that they didn't really have a vocabulary for before they came into the class. We talk about the design of fact tables and dimension tables specifically. Almost half the class is purpose constructed to drive the kinds of dimensional models that, that, that we teach. We also have a fairly significant discussion of low latency, real-time delivery of data trying to deliver the data faster and faster and faster. And in fact, we even talk about a zero latency data warehouse where there is no delay whatsoever between the data being produced on the production systems and actually being available in the data warehouse. And that always gets the students' attention because they say, how, how do you plan to do that? What does that mean? So we, <laughs> we wait and provide that answer. We don't try to give them the, the punchline on the first day. We also talk about the implications of the new area of big data, how some of the really unusual types of data and types of analysis could even be, I would say, shoehorned in or fit into the framework that, that we're comfortable with. And there are some strong stories that need to be told to pr get this marriage between the big data community and the, the enterprise data warehouse community. So that's the, the ETL architecture in depth class that we teach at Kimball University.